Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another movie video. In today's video, guys, we're going over your season 64 final season plans. Now, a little bit of context. I am going away for the next four days. I'll be back on Sunday night, so we'll be back to regularly scheduled programming Monday. But this is going to be my last video up to date, kind of on this season. I'm going to make a couple more, like, generic style. Boom Beach videos uh, in advance for the coming days, so just so you guys aren't thinking, Chicken, why aren't you posting about today's worship stuff? Um, that's the reason. That's the reason. But I'm hoping in this video we can pack everything that you're going to need to know into, you know, going the last few days because not much is really going to change, okay? So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to throw in that code Chicken in the shop. It does help to support. And with that being said, let's grab our daily chest. And first off, we're going to start off um, going over the tech. This is uh, the base that I'm using right now. Oh, God damn it, Philip. Um, no, I butchered that hit. Uh, this is the base I'm using right now. It's actually Stoneheart's base without the mort mortars. Um, so I know the base is, you know, it's got to be solid. Um, so you guys can copy that if you're looking for one. It's been okay. Since I switched to it, um, when was the last time? Four hours. Um, I don't know. Where's one minute? There's no break in any of these tacks, so I haven't been using it for a while. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, it's been a hit and miss, but that's more so because of my tech. So, if you want a base, there's a decent one. Now, let's go over the tech tree. What are you going to need? First and foremost, get Rodero to max level. We're using him the rest of the season. No need for Caban. That was a complete waste of keys on my part. I do apologize you followed that path. Um, that was somewhat ill-advised. I was thinking things. Might get defensive at 70 yards, change back to Bombardiers, but... Wasn't the case. At least we didn't upgrade him. Um, so we've got a couple things that we want to focus on first. And the order of importance, it doesn't really matter which one you do first. Um, I would recommend if you're already at 7 and you've already picked your troop boost. Uh, the good news is bombardiers are actually going to come in handy here in this attack. I'm going to attempt to show you. Um, troop health, we, it's not a huge bonus. I mean, we'll get it at some point for sure. Um, depending on how far out, far along we got to play before we can park, but um, that's going to be good, but don't go out of your way for it until, you know, you're at the very end. Um, so we want to go through DVD, because DVD is somewhat helpful, since most people have rockets. Mortars, um, mortars aren't going to do much, but they're another building. Slow them down, you know, drag stuff away. Tiny Shock is pretty helpful, because you can, you know, especially with HCRC, because you know, there's only so many defenses that can actually hit them, so having the Tiny Shock to sh completely shut down Boom Cannons and Doom Cannons, Shock Blasters, whatever, and Shock Launchers on the front, which we'll see in a second, can be extremely helpful. Sky Shield is going to be your proto node of choice here. I haven't seen any 250 DVD damage amp bases, not many of them anyways. A couple guys got a 23 just going full defense today, um, but I think offense is going to be your best bet overall, so we're going to stick with that. Um, then at some point we do want the hot pots, and the only reason for the hot pots is because they stun Rodero. Like they completely shut him down at the very end. So you want to take your hot pots and put them at whatever engine rooms uh, players are attacking last on. So for this base, I'd probably put both of them, um, or maybe one of them here because that's going to cover two almost, and then one of them here. I don't know how the bug works with Rodero exactly, but it seems like if he's trying to do his bombing run and the hot pot comes up, he's just frozen in place. So it's kind of annoying, but. Rodero is also kind of OP, so it's nice to have something that slows him down. And it, the thing is, it's the same for everybody, so I just want to make sure everybody knows, like, you know, what is happening, so they don't think, like, oh, I lost that attack because the, you know, the stupid hero glitch. He, the stupid hero glitch is for everybody, so we're all on the same page there, at least. So, as, as long as you know that that's how he's working for right now. Next is we want artillery, and we want heavies. The problem is Brick is blocking that. So the reason I haven't gone down that path yet is because that's a lot of keys to sacrifice for Brick right now. And again, unfortunately, because I took Kaban, that's going to be my third hero this season, which is never a good idea. But um, yes, for 22 keys, that, that's really painful. That's really painful. 22 keys in the hole for Kavan. That's a whole diamond chest uh, that we just threw away, which is annoying. But again, it is what it is. So... Um, from what I've seen today, people have been saying that the heavies have been helping a lot. So I'll probably switch, well, depending on if, how, well, if we're using bombers, we want that extra troop damage. 
Um, so we want that and that. And also make sure you go back and grab the rocket chopper boost at some point. I've been saying it's a 10% boost, but what it actually is, is it's a boost to the base stats, which then get all the troop damage multiplied from that. So it is pretty helpful. Um, so I don't know, depending on how my push is going, that's when I'm going to pick up the rocket chopper boost. If I'm feeling like, okay, I got enough tech, I got the attack down, just need a little more oomph. If I'm, you know, struggling to maintain 22, then I'm get, thinking like, okay, we need artillery, we need heavies. The good news is we got a lot of time, so we're going to get all of it at some point. We just got to figure out, you know, um, and that's the order I'm going to go in anyways. Maybe pick up the rocket chopper boost sooner than that if you think you got a window. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I've been keeping with the shock blaster. It seems like that's what most people are using. Um, the doom cannon, it can take out heavy choppers for sure. It's another thing that will target your rocket choppers and hit them, but it's just so slow. What usually happens is it hits a couple heavies that come under the heavy choppers, and then it's, you know, been taken out by then. The shock blaster's nice because it can stun Rodero sometimes and take him out, so it's just a little bit more annoying to deal with, or it can pause the heavy choppers, the rock choppers slip in front. So for little stuff like that, it can be a little bit more helpful. So the attack, the attack, the attack. What are we doing? So we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going one, four, okay? This is my first time doing this hit. Um, so it's probably gonna go badly, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it anyways. It is somewhat base dependent, I think. You want, uh, to match those 70R front-loaded bases, so we'll see if we get that here. Yes, we do. So, essentially the idea is we want to go 1-4 Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper, flare them to about the middle of kind of this zone, make sure... Tip, like, it works better with the Tiny Shock, because we Tiny Shock that Boom Cannon, and then maybe Shock over there and Shock over there. Um, we're gonna have to get a little bit tricky with it, um, so yeah, and again, first time trying it, so if I completely fizzle out here, <laughs> don't make fun of me, uh, it is possible, but let's try it. So we're gonna go, um, actually, you know what we should do? Let's get away from that boom gun. Let's go all the way down to the corner. Okay, so then we're gonna go like this, one, one, two, three, four... Rudster and Shocky Shocky. Okay, let's see if he can stay in line. And then we want to go one, two, three. Hit that launcher. Okay, we're going to lose one RC there. That's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, we, so far we've only lost one. And I don't know how these doodlers are going to do with all these rockets and stuff. I don't like that. Maybe you can't do this with the rockets? <laughs> oh, man. So, in a perfect world, your bombers would have taken out everything on the bottom. And then we're flaring at this point with these guys. So, I still got a bit to learn with it, obviously. But that's kind of the idea. So, I hope that's going to help you guys out. Um, I'm not going to run that hit anymore until I get Tiny Shot, because I think that's kind of the missing thing. And I also am not sure how that's going to work with all those front-loaded rockets. Um, we might as well just retreat. I mean, there's no way we're going to win this. So, yeah, that's the idea. That's the hit that we want to be running. So bombers are coming online. Um, just that was an absolutely terrible hit. I do apologize. But that's the idea. I wish I had one of my log to show you, but I didn't come up against anybody using bombardiers today. So, yeah, a little bit unfortunate. But that's okay. That's the perfect world. That's the plan. If not, you can do you know the two two six split drop and uh, you know tiny shocks are gonna speed that up pretty good. So hope you guys have a great end of your season. Let me know in the comments. Um, come back to the video if uh, you're doing well or you're getting smoked, and um, I'll try to comment and and help you guys out. You can also join the Discord server if you want more up to date chicken information and uh, worships help. We got some good guys in there. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. And we'll see you on uh, Monday morning. Chicken out. Back, back.